Hey guys, if you'd like to be part of the draw to win a Yeti Esky, real simple, you need to hashtag Gripset Sealed for Good in the comment section below and subscribe to the YouTube Sealed for Good channel. You're going to draw for that Esky plus a whole lot of Gripset product. Good luck. Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me on Sealed for Good. Today I'm talking about window and door thresholds for external balcony floors. And this is one that, like all balconies and podium jobs, comes up often, and I'm gonna show you a detail shortly that it surprises me how many people are not aware of how extensive the waterproofing job needs to go to even after windows and doors are installed on a balcony floor. So we understand that you have to tank the balcony floor, you do all your detailing, you want that finished floor level measured correctly, but the threshold, is where you need to actually take care of first. So our process should always be waterproof underneath that window and door threshold first before the windows and doors are installed. Now, ideally you wanna do that as a stage one, then have the doors and windows installed, then you come back later and you tank the rest of the balcony floor and you can integrate the balcony floor membrane to the previous work you've done and we've got our systems that allow you to do that. Now there may be some situations that I recall over the years, and they still come up now from time to time with builders, particularly in winter time, or they could be in remote areas where they want that balcony waterproofed entirely, including underneath the window and door threshold. If you are doing that, you need to have a system that can be durable enough to handle the conditions, particularly traffic over the membrane before those windows and doors go in, but ideally, before it's tiled, there should be another system that goes on top. Hence, we've got our BRW HD system that works, and you've seen photos of where we use the express lay over the top of that afterwards, which is ideally used, or you could use the PF on top, and you integrate both, but you've got the correct tanking on the balcony floor and underneath that window and door threshold. This is actually the part where a lot of waterproofers are not aware that once the windows and doors are in, you need to also have an angle, which is a water stop detail, behind that window and door. And that is part of the waterproofing job. Are you ready to get rewarded for your hard work and loyalty? Gripset WOW is more than just a rewards program. This fun and engaging community is an online portal where members earn points that can be used for a variety of rewards, perks and privileges. So if you're a Gripset go-getter dedicated to improving the industry, what are you waiting for? Join now. Thank you and enjoy the rest of this week's episode of Sealed for Good. Now, there's a lot of discussion on this. Whose responsibility is it? It says water stop, and that's the part that we should take responsibility of, the waterproofer. So that, again, is education. Now, the detail is not complete until that water stop is installed. Now, we educate and show our gap guys how to do that with our systems, and there's a really good detail on how to do it before and after. But most importantly, educate your builder and the supervisor that that is part of the waterproofing standard and if you haven't done it it's not complete and you're not compliant so while all these certifiers are out there talking about ticking off membranes that comply to certain standards are we checking out those details because this is where things go wrong on external floors because of the volume of water from weather outside so ensure that you've got that alert refer to this detail if you'd like to know more Call us on 1-800-650-435 for more information on this. But this is the detail that counts most, and the devil is always in that detail. Until next time on Silver for Good, I'll speak to you then.